guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. Today I want to introduce you a new widget and after we learn about the GTK header bar, I think it's time now to learn another bar widget, in this case GTK action bar. The GTK action bar, it is a full width bar for presenting contextual action. So as you can see, it takes one, two, three, four, five functions it has only two child properties it has no properties the child property you already know from the header bar are the same pack type and position nothing special types and value which is the struct action bar if you want to check information about this action bar structure then you go right here and you get nothing whatever <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> okay uh, the object hierarchy as you can see GTK action bars come from GTK bin, which means it is uh, a container with just one child. Just remember, you cannot put more than one child. Is it it? Well, we'll see about it. Uh, GTK action bar implements a ATK implementation interface and GTK buildable. And the description says GTK action bar is designed to present contextual action. It is expected to be displayed below the content and expand horizontally to fill the area. So it allows placing children, placing children, not a child, okay, at the start, at the at the start of the or the end in addition. And it contains on, uh, an internal central box, which is center center with respect to the full width of. The box and so on whatever since css knows we have only one which is called action bar so now are the functions okay for this we need to declare a gtk widget which of course we are going to call it action bar once that we have it we can point it to our action bar to the not equal GTK action bar new, which takes nothing, and GTK container add GTK container. So we are going to add it to our window, and of course, our widget action bar. Now let me compile it and run it. Attempting to add a widget, and uh, yes, of course, my bad. Because I'm just trying to put the action bar inside the window where we are putting the grid already. We need to put it inside the grid, not inside the window. So as you can see, it is right here. It is hard to, to see it, but it is right here. You see, from here through here. Whatever, you don't need to care about that right now because the, what is important is coming. Now let us create uh, some buttons for our GTK widget. And let's say um, button start, for example, button, uh, whatever, start two. I think it's better if we have a start one and start two. And then let's create another two, for example, GTK widget um, button um, center and GTK widget. We are going to create another one uh, button end. Okay, now we have four buttons which we need to create them. So let's create them. Okay, so let's start with the first one, the button start one, for example, and we are going to say GTK button new with with label and we are going to uh, pass or uh, you know what let 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 me change it button new with 
let 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 me do something else uh, uh, but a new from icon name okay so let me pass some icons names um, for this you can use of course the GTK um, um, how it's called icon icon GTK uh, 3 icon browser from here you can take some names if you want to whatever uh, which names you want to to create uh, it's not important me I'm going to take the phone for example copy whatever uh, let me close so I'm, I'm going to take the phone and of course the second one the GTK icon size uh, uh, GTK icon size icon size and here we have some of them me I'm going to take the menu right now so this is the first one uh, st the button to which we are going to create it I'm going to say the um, audio input microphone uh, nothing special just to just to be sure that um, are different audio input microphone and of course we need another two as well which was the button uh, center and for button center let's say uh, I think I saw camera camera web and for the end I'm going to use I'm going to use what what I'm going to use um, whatever camera camera photo Ah, the names you get them for yourself anyway uh, f let's see if I'm right phone yes we have phone audio input micro microphone microphone yes and then camera web and camera photo okay because now we have those four buttons we can move it with our GTK action bar and the next thing which we are going to do we are going to do some packing for this we are going to call the GTK action bar pack star which says adds children to the action bar pack it with reference to the start of the action bar the parameters are the GTK action bar and the second one is the widget so we are going to pack them okay GTK action bar and the second thing which we are going to pass here will be start one button and start two as well now because uh, we pack them basically we can um, we can do something with this uh, or better say you know what let me let me drop a little bit of call of these two right here right just I want to be sure that everything is fine so I'm going to compile it and run it and yes you see we have those two right here which means works fine as expected and uh, uh, there is nothing uh, special about these two now the, le the next thing which we are going to use will be the pack end which I'm going to call it right here and I'm going to pass also through, through this function uh, the button end and of course we need a button end as well now that I compile it and run it it should be at the right side yes you see now we have the photo and another two buttons right here which looks nice and the last thing which we need the last function it is the set center widget which we are going to apply it of course you already know on our button center yes 
I need to create it first. So I need to uncomment it before I can make it work. And now that we have it, we can basically pass it right here. And now I'm going to compile it and run it. And we have all those four nice buttons uh, which we were creating. Those four buttons which we were creating was based on the function calls which we were needed. Okay, I went too much. Uh, what we did, we created a action bar with new and then we were packing the first two buttons start one and start two and we are packing them uh, by giving them some names with, from the icon names as you already see here and then uh, after we packing those two buttons and start and the last one to the end the last function which we used was to set the center widget now of course if you need information about the last uh, widget uh, you can use the gtk uh, uh, GTK bar set uh, get center widget like this GTK widget get widget and then GTK action bar get widget and GTK action bar action bar once that we have it we can then uh, I don't know let's say const g char const get name and gtk widget get name and once that we have it we can pass now the get widget right here and because we have it g print we can print it with uh, the widget name is percent whoa that was too fast percent s and of course get name and now we have information about the widget after we got it with gtk action bar, bar get widget so the widget name is gtk button of course because this is the button which we got it this is the centered to be 100 percent that th that's the right one we can give it a name gtk widget set name and for the action no sorry for the button center we are going to give a name also button center and now our function will return this time not a gtk button but a button center name the name which we gave it to our widget you see the widget name is button center that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys